Hello. This is going to be one of the shorter philosophy videos you're going to watch because we're talking about should politicians have dirty hands. The essay is called The Problem of Dirty Hands. The essay is pretty short and sweet and it gets to the point so it's not a particularly long checklist. We're actually only doing one through four because he really doesn't go into flaws. And the question for chapter Step one is, should politicians play dirty? Step two, what does it mean to play dirty? Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, double, what's a good way of putting it? Anything that would make them feel guilty. Um, making deals with other politicians, um, all the things that go along with politics. So you take two, say you guys, two senators. One's from Idaho and he has a big interest in potatoes and the other one is from I don't know where, it doesn't matter, pick a fictional state. Now the, the senator from Idaho promised his citizens that he would get subsidies for the farmers that produce potatoes. If he doesn't if he does not get those subsidies, he is going to have a huge problem. Not only will he not get elected, but the farmers will be hurt. Some of them will lose their farms, and he won't live up to the promise he made. So, it's really important for him to have these subsidies go through. They're going to take a vote on it the next day. So, he has whoever his assistant is check around. He doesn't have enough votes. He's one short. So a senator from another state comes and says, hey, I, pro I will vote your way. I will change my vote and vote for the potato subsidies, but you have to promise to vote my way when this other bill comes up. Now the Idaho guy does not agree with this other bill. It doesn't matter what bill it is. Just make something up in your head. Um, a bill to make it easier to get assault rifles. He thinks it's a really, really, really bad idea. He doesn't think it's a good idea. He thinks it's immoral. He does not want to vote to make it easier to get assault rifles. But the vote is tomorrow. If he doesn't take this deal, he is going to lose the subsidies for his, for his citizens in his state that he promised to get and people are going to lose their farms. So what should he do? Should he play dirty? Should he make the deal? Or not? The example was actually brought about for step two to define playing dirty. Playing dirty is lying, it's making deals, it's anything that the politician would feel guilty about. Okay. Step three. Does the author think politicians should play dirty? Yes. He thinks they should. And the reason he thinks they should, they should, blah, blah. the reason he thinks they should play dirty is because in our current political system, you cannot be successful without playing dirty. Um, if the guy does not make the deal, the Idaho perform, the Idaho senator does not make the deal, then he is not going to be a successful politician. He is going to lose the subsidies for his state. The citizens are going to lose their farms. He will not be reelected. It will not go over. If you do not play the games of politics, you won't succeed. So basically, in order to be a successful politician, you must play dirty. Now, so does that mean we should just want dirty politicians. The author's going to say no. It's not that we want dirty politicians. What we want are, are moral politicians who will play dirty not because they want to, but because they're doing what they consider the best for their people. They're doing, making the best of a bad situation. They're playing the game in order to be successful. If they're not successful, they won't get the things that they promised their citizens. They won't be able to function. They will not be a successful politician. They won't be in politics at all. So you have to have a willingness to get your hands dirty. If you aren't, 
basically the author doesn't think you should be in politics. Um, but we still want politicians who are moral. So what is it that we really want? We don't want a politician that never feels guilty. What the author suggests is we want politicians who are willing to play dirty in order to get the greater good, but who feel guilty about it. And the fact that they feel guilty about it means that they're still moral. If they didn't care, they wouldn't feel guilty. Then that's not the politician you want. What we should want is a politician who's willing to play dirty for the greater good, but then feels guilty about it. And that is literally his argument. Um, like I said, this is not a hard essay to explain. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And see you later.